Hey Virgo Libra, welcome to your reading. So, I hope you had a wonderful birthday. Your bonus video will be up soon, okay? But today we have your October reading. And we're gonna take a look at what is happening in your life, how that plays out in the 5D, so on your spiritual path, on your journey, and what you can expect in October in regards to that. So, this could be about love, could be about career, could be about anything, so take it however it resonates. If it doesn't, you may want to check your individual signs, but if it does, don't forget to smash the like button, to subscribe. We do have a membership. If you feel called to support me that way, and if you're interested in my reading, link is going to be down below, okay? So, with that being said, let's see what we have here for you. Uh-huh, yeah, that's the one. Let's see here. All right, for Virgo Libra... What do we need to know? I feel like this one wants to come out too. Okay. So we do have uh, balance, confusion, gratitude, and release. I find it one thing that's really catching my attention is that we have a lot of like crown and third eye chakra. So I feel like you're really connecting with your intuition. And I feel like you're really trying to balance your energy and who you are and how to live your life. I feel like things have been a little bit confusing for you. I feel like especially in regards to career. I feel like uh, maybe like around direction. Where should I go? What is the next step? Where should I move? If this is about a relationship, maybe a relationship has been spending a lot of time in your mind and you've been thinking about it quite a lot, trying to figure out what to do next. I feel like you're stepping into a place, however, of peace, of tranquility of yeah I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be okay this is what I'm supposed to do this is the direction I'm supposed to take I feel like you were asking for a lot of advice especially in the beginning I feel like you were not necessarily asking for approval or searching for other people's approval but I feel like you were asking a lot of advice and not taking your own I feel like you weren't looking too much into this third eye and crown chakra energy of intuition, of listening to yourself. And now I feel like you're ready to listen to yourself, continue to ask advice, but listening to yourself and knowing that it's your decision and it's your path. And I feel like this confusion right here is being washed away and it's a beautiful new thing. It's being created in return, especially because you have this uh, pregnant lady here in the gratitude card. So I feel like you're starting a new beginning here, a new chapter in your life where I feel like you are sure. You may not know how things are going to happen, but I feel like you have this feeling of, okay, this feels good. This feels right. You know? Um, and I do feel like maybe some people had to walk out of your life for this to happen or some situation maybe had to leave a job. I'm glad you did because I really feel like you're aligning here. I feel like you're starting to get into a better place with yourself and with the situation, whatever it is. So let's pull here some tarot and dive a little deeper, see what this is about. Right, let's see here. So yeah, wow. Overall energy, we have the tower. So I really feel like maybe a relationship ended all of this end or you just made this uh, like this move, this sudden move, especially with the fool of like, okay, maybe I should quit my job. And maybe you didn't make the move because Queen of Swords, it's very mental energy. I feel like you're about to make the move. Uh, maybe until Sag season, you could let go of that job and move into something that feels more like you. And you're making the decision, oh, look at that, yeah, to start something new and step into your power. Okay, with that emperor, it's where you're headed. It's You're headed towards the throne. And I feel like things... They may not be exactly where you wanted them to be, but they're headed that way. And I feel like you're starting to know that. And because of it, I feel like you're feeling more comfortable with making better decisions, with making, taking leaps of faith and just going for it. So I wouldn't really be surprised if you would quit your job or break up with someone and a friendship. I feel like there's an end here. I feel like you're taking anything that is not aligning with you. And for some people, it may look like you were making a mistake, you're being reckless, but I don't think you are. I feel like you know exactly, yeah, I feel like you know exactly what you're doing and what you're looking for more than that. 
and especially with this hermit here, you are taking the time to now listen to yourself. So you're in this gratitude place, especially with the lovers here in your feelings. You're in this beautiful gratitude place of listening to your heart. <laughs> and as I say that, I pull the Knight of Cups of uh, listening to your soul calling and doing the heck you want. So there is this thing here around Scorpio energy, possibly Scorpio season. I feel like it's more than that. So the Pluto just went direct, and maybe this past few months, um, I believe six months or something, uh, Pluto has been retrograde. And for you, Pluto in retrograde could have been a lot about realigning and reassessing. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Is this where I want to do? Am I doing the things that motivate me? And I feel like in October here with the Nine of Wands, you may still be a little bit on the fence. Like, uh, should I? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I should just stay still. Because I feel like your heart is still divided by both. I don't think you hate uh, both options, whatever it is. I don't think you hate being alone. I don't think you hate being with that person. I don't think you hate your job. I don't think you hate your, your side hustle, right? But I do think that there is one that you love a little bit more. And I do think that there is one that just speaks to you. And so what is happening here in the 5D? Why all of this confusion, all of this is happening is for you to discern what is your mind and what is your soul. That's why you're going into Hermit. That's why you're connecting more with alone time and maybe even journaling a little bit more with all this Mercury energy here. You're talking more to yourself in whatever way that is. It could be through dreams, for example, but you're starting to listen more. And that is the purpose of all this confusion. It's for you to start listening and start taking action accordingly, okay? I feel like you're not talking about this with too many people, um, especially with this nine of wands. I feel like you're creating some space. There could be someone, however, possibly a friend, with this gratitude, uh, for me, it's a lot about, it's about deep love, so it could be a partner, but I do feel like it's a friend. Uh, there could be someone specifically that you do talk about this with, but not too many people. And maybe this is the sort of advice for you, is talk about it with a specific person that you know will understand, that you know will help you get the guidance you need and push you towards the right direction. So that I feel like it's something for you to take a look at is who do you trust? Who do you feel like you can count on? Okay, you can lean on a little bit. And with this death here, this is what's happening in your favor. Where is the light? Is it change? Okay, that I feel like it's what you're going, what you're going to resist here um, in October, especially until the end of Mercury retrograde. I actually, I feel like it's best that way because that way, you you know, when Mercury goes re retrograde, it is more of a introspection time than an action time. So I feel like it's good that you revisit your plans, that you realign in everything. And then after Mercury retrograde uh, or after Mercury goes direct, you actually take some sort of action. Okay, so that would be really good if that is your plan. If, not, if it's not your plan, then maybe take that into consideration. But change. Okay, after that change, do something about it. Because that's actually where you're guided here, where you're headed. It's Knight of Cups, it's you following your heart. Not really caring if it's stable, if it's pretty, if, it's, if it makes sense. I feel like you're starting to follow what doesn't make sense. But it makes sense to you, in some level. Okay, not to your mind, but to your heart. All right? And the guidance here with the Seven of Pentacles is built, okay? I feel like you have been building something. I feel like you have been spending a lot of time alone building walls inside, healthy walls inside, and, you know, boundaries and self-respect and, and trying to figure out your goals and everything. But I feel like you've also been trying to build something solid. So in your self-care, in your self-worth, if this is about a relationship, you've been literally building something um, physical, material, if this is about career. If not, that is the, the guidance for you to start. But I feel like for most of you, you have. And what is happening here 
is that you should invest in it, believe in it, put your 100% effort in it. And that's where the tower comes in. Maybe there is someone, maybe there is something that you need to let go for you to be able to go 100% in this. Okay? Don't be afraid to make the move. So let's clarify here a couple of things. Let me see that seven of swords. Okay. Three of wands. Nine of cups. King of swords. Yeah. So I feel like you're a little bit in this battle of I'm trying to manifest something. Okay. So far, so good. Now, in the physical world, 3D, how does that play out? And I feel like you're struggling here a little bit with trying to figure out, okay, so I'm, I wanted to manifest a dog. Now, is it a literal dog or is it a stuffed animal? <laughs> you know, is it something like that? Um, in this case, I feel like you're trying to manifest this beautiful career, authentic, with a lot of love. Okay, crap, what is it? You know, when it comes to the 3D, you may be faced with two options and you're not really sure which one it is. Follow your heart, because that is the one that is. Okay, I feel like your mind is saying, oh, but hey, you know, I feel like you're thinking too much about the, the question. I think you're thinking too much about the decision. My mind is saying that this is more stable, this is better, this brings you more money, and your heart is saying, this will make you happy. You know, whatever it is, maybe it is the option that brings you more money, whatever it is, you're headed towards wish fulfillment. But those wishes, those manifestations, they cannot come in if you don't open the door. And how do you do that? You don't self-sabotage. You don't act against your wish. Okay? So if you want it to be an actor, don't uh, say no to, you know, you, you, you pass the casting. Don't say no to that opportunity, you know? Or you find, you see a poster of a casting for a new movie. Go grab it. You know, that is your wish fulfillment. That kind of thing. If you manifest something and then you see a sign, then you see something growing, you see something telling you, hey, go for it. You're doing great. Grab that opportunity. Don't let it go. Okay? So let's see here the Seven of Pentacles. Hanged Man, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, and this is, it, it's good that it showed up because I was also thinking that if this is about a relationship, it could be, for example, two people. In this case of the lovers, uh, it is divine feminine and divine masculine, but it could also be two people because the lovers is also about a decision, a choice. And in this case, you are trying to manifest the love of your life. That person is funny, it makes you laugh, it loves nature, da 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 you have a list of requirements, let's call it. And now you're faced with the decision. Which person is going to is it going to be? So you have one person that is nothing like the requirements you have. And you have, but it's comfortable, it's safe. Maybe it's a childhood friend that you've met for a very long time. Then you have this brand new person that pushes you towards the unknown. You don't know them. It's new, you have to go, you have to get out there into the dating world. It's scary, but it's, it, it fills every single box. Sometimes scary is good, okay? So I feel like the advice here is that thing, revisit. Use this Mercury retrograde to revisit, to reassess, to figure out, okay, what am I trying to manifest and from what I see out there, where is the opportunity for me to get that manifestation? It doesn't matter how scary it is. It doesn't matter how big it is. It could be it seem like, oh, it's too good to be true. This fills every single box. So it's it, it, there's a catch there. Queen of Pentacles, you deserve it. That's why it fills all the box. It probably has even more. Not everything is perfect, sure. But if you're trying to manifest something, the universe is going to give you that or better. Okay, so I feel like you need to know that you deserve. If you feel like your business just had this huge blow up and it, it's feeling like, oh, this is too good to be true. It had this blow up, but then it's going to go down again and I'm going to be left with no money. 
If it's having a blow up, it's because the product is good. It's because you deserve it. You're enough. It's because you're capable at what you do. It's not because it's just luck. It aligns with you. So I feel like that's what you need to look here, especially with that gratitude. It's be grateful for everything that is happening. If you're not doing that already, start a gratitude journaling practice. Every single night, write three things that you're grateful for that day. If this is about career, write three things you're grateful about career specifically, you know? But find things that align with you and cherish them. The, it, it can be the smallest thing. Cherish, cherish it, nurture it, okay? Because you deserve it and it's there for you. It's a manifestation. It's a wish come true, all right? So let's see here. I'm actually going to clarify just one more thing. Let me see this Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups to see where we're headed. So we have Strength. Four of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, yeah. So there's that thing. I feel like until you think too much about what makes sense, what is safe, what is the thing for you, you know, what is stable, what goes according to society's rule, to your parents' rule, to whatever it is, I feel like you'll always be dodging the calling, okay, judgment. I feel like you'll always be trying to do everything and everything and lose yourself in the middle. I feel like you need to stop a little bit. Breathe and evaluate. Take a risk, okay? Take a risk with your heart. Not with what makes sense, with your heart. You're overthinking this, okay? So let's go hear some final messages and advice. It's time to release negativity. Yeah, that thing of you are good enough. You deserve this. This is happening because you manifested it. Okay? Don't let your past hold you back. You also have step out of your comfort zone. Oh, goodness. This is beautiful. We'll talk about it. I mean, there's that, that Scorpio energy as well. Um, so, show the world the real you. Expect powerful change death okay and have faith in your dreams so it's really time for you to be authentic to do what makes you feel good release any negativity of oh but this is always going to fall back this is going to end badly it's not okay and the most beautiful thing um i actually have two things for you so we have this south node and north node this is if you look at in your chart your south node tells you your past life, tells you what you are comfortable in. Your North Node is what you're here to learn. It's your purpose, okay? It's getting out of your comfort zone. So right now, I feel like you are staying in your South Node. You're staying in what you've already learned. It's already comfortable. It's already, it's already okay, you know? It's already like, okay, this, things are good. Not gonna change it up. With the North Node, there's more, there's fulfillment, there's expansion with no limit, okay? So don't be afraid to step into your north node. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone because that is your life purpose, okay? Right now, I feel like you're staying still in a place that you can have more, okay? And with this thing of it's time to release negativity and think of this always happens and everything, Whatever this is talking about, I feel like it would be good for you to get out of your own way, to do a little exercise. So think about the situation you want. Think about the situation we're talking about here. Let's say it is career. Um, think about your beliefs around career. So, you know, write a little text. I believe that if I follow my heart, I'm not going to get money. If I do what I love and it's not according to what society feels like it should be a career, people will judge me and I'm going to lose everyone around me. Let's take those two things, for example. Try to find arguments that fight against that. So if I do what I love, I'm not going to get any money. 
Have you ever been doing something that you were actually doing something you love? Can you find a situation where you earn money and you were actually pretty happy? This could be your birthday, for example. You were doing something that you loved. You were spending time with those that you love and you received money. You were at this side hustle and you actually earn a little bit of money. Okay, you're earning money doing something that you love. So isn't it possible that that is going to bring you money? You're finding arguments and focus on the arguments that you find. You can even build affirmations, for example. So I receive money every time I do something I love. When I do something I love, money just flows abundantly into my life. You know, that type of vibe. Uh, if it is, for example, that thing of if I do something that I love, people are going to walk away. People will judge me. Do you have anyone in your life that has been with you through the thick and thin, through everything, that always supported you no matter what he did? Can you find someone that, like that? Focus on that person. Focus on that energy, on that relationship. And then change that affirmation to, when I do something that I love, I align with people that love me, that support me no matter what I do. Okay? It's about finding arguments that refute your beliefs and then focusing on those, on those arguments okay repeating those arguments over and over and over again every single day all right i feel like that could help you um so yeah time to be authentic okay it's time to go do it so virgo libra this is what i have for you i hope it resonated i hope it helped uh, if you're interested in the private reading, the link is going to be down below. And if it resonated, don't forget to smash like button for me to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one very soon because we have your birthday bonus. So I will see you there. Bye-bye.